Twister, uh, spell chip card removal, and that you can set up your graveyard with other sound land crates. Uh, the fusion of fire, it acts kind of like a super poly, but, uh, except it can be negated. Um, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this card. Um, Sanctuary, uh, this card is the card that lets you, uh, do a bunch of your plays. The Link 1 searches this card, and this card allows you to use, uh, once per turn, use the uh, monster, uh, Salamangri monster, um, use itself as a, the full cost for another copy of uh, whatever Salamangri monster you're summoning. So uh, that's the effect you use it for, the secondary effect, you don't really use it for that, but uh, yeah, this is pretty much Next up is Will of the Salamangrate. Um, this card lets you use special summon one Salamangrate monster from your hand or graveyard uh, once per turn during your main phase, or you can uh, send it uh, to the graveyard and then target Salamangrate link monster. You control those link summon using a monster with the same name as its material. Special summon Salamangrate monsters from your hand or graveyard in defense position up to that monster's link rating. So pretty much um, I almost never see this card, but you can use it to uh, summon uh, more cards and just basically extend your bullies that way. Uh, I play one Super Bolly because I play, the, I play one copy of the Fusion and it's just really good to get rid of your opponent's Link Monsters. Except I play two Roar. Uh, it acts as an Infernity Barrier or if a spell, trap, or monster effect is activated while you control Salamangri monster, you negate the activation, and then if it's in your graveyard and the Salamangri monster is link summoned using the same uh, name as its material, you can set it from the graveyard by banish from at least the field. So it's essentially two Omni negates for, uh, in a really easy and consistent way. Uh, then I played two Rage. Um, it destroys cards equal to a Salamangrate's, uh, Link Monsters rating. Um, it's just really good for destroying cards overall. And then two goes in match. Uh, Exmoor is a floodgate for other decks like Sky Strikers. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this. <laughs> Next up is the extra deck. So for the extra deck, I play three bailings. Um, this searches your field spell, and it protects your salamander monsters from uh, battle destruction or card effect by banishing itself from the graveyard. Um, so it's a really good link monster. I uh, definitely want to run three of them. And then next is uh, three summoning wolf. This is the, the big boy of the deck. And if a monster is special summoned, normal special summoned to a zone, this card points to you. You can add a fire monster from your graveyard to your hand, but for the rest of the turn, you can can't summon normal summoner set or special summon monsters with the added monster's name, which usually isn't that big of a deal. Um, and then its secondary effect is uh, once during the main phase, if you control this card that was link summoned using uh, itself as the link material. A salamangri, a spell or trap from a griever to your hand, which can be roar or circle or what have you. So, yeah, really good card. Um, play two Helio, uh, it's kind of like the pseudo boss monster in the stack. Um, it reduces monsters, a monster's attack by one in your graveyard, so. Transco Talker, um, this can resurrect Healy 
Geo, and then protect it and give Skinky 500 attack and defense, and, um, or 500 attack, which would make this and Helio a 2800, which was uh, really, really cool. Um, it was pretty much resurrects Helio from the grave. Um, Hyper Psychic Chrysler. Uh, play this because it's the level 6 synchro, as I mentioned earlier, and it acts as a uh, kind of a floodgate monster. Where uh, monsters with higher attack can activate their effects, I believe. Let me, let me read this real quick, actually. Yeah, neither player can activate effects. Uh, can monster effects with the uh, monsters that have attack higher than this, and then uh, monsters with less attack than this can't attack. So yeah, really good floodgate, and it's really easy to make in this deck. And then next up, I have the side deck. So I run one mole of uh, to recycle cards and draw, in case I don't have anything or my board just got blown up. Um, two chalice because I don't own infinite impermanence. So, uh, I run Forbidden Chalice instead. Otherwise, I would run three copies of Impermanence in this deck. Um, a Solemn Package, uh, two Strike, one Warning. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. And then for Lynx, I run one Phoenix because it's a Fire Link to, uh, Hida, the Fire Charmer, more for the Mirror Match. Uh, because I can snatch a Salaman Great Monster from the opponent's graveyard and use it to further my plays. Uh, triple bird.